Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Andrew Burris, and just for a few moments, I'm joined by I'm joined by the one, the only, the legend, Miss Carly Hayes. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the fine people out there. Hi, I'm Carly Hayes, and I'm a senior, and I play outside for the volleyball team. So just looking at this little uh, schedule that we have here, sponsored by Max Preps, uh, walk us through what really happened after Harding Academy, because I'm a college student here at Memphis, and uh, I, can't, I can't go home and announce, so just walk us through what happened after Harding Academy. So basically we started off really strong with our um, season, you know, played some easier teams and uh, wasn't as challenging. And then, you know, we um, got to Harding and some of the other teams that um, are out of our district. And, you know, that was just – they didn't count for our district games, but they were good competition to do and good practice games. And, you know, even though they don't count towards our district, it's, it's always good to, you know, challenge yourself. And so they were really good teams, and they challenged us very well. So uh, moving on to teams in your district, Trinity Christian Academy. Yes. Uh, go ahead and elaborate on that game. I'm sure it was a great game. As I see here, y'all yeah. lost 3-2, to two, but go ahead and walk me through that. So, basically, we started off very strong. You know, won the first two sets. We're going good. Then, you know, comes third set. Um, we unfortunately lost, and it just came down to a mental game. And, you know, we I, we thought, you know, we got this in the bag. Like, we're about to win in three. Like, it's, it's good. And then, you know, it just started to get mental. We got two ahead of ourselves, and... And then we unfortunately lost the next three games. I got you. So you're obviously very good at what you do. Yes. Uh, <laughs> have you had any colleges hit you up? Um, I have not, actually. Um, I'm not really going – looking forward that kind of future. Um, I'm kind of focused on, you know, going to college and, you know, studying – like for sports medicine yeah, maybe and yeah. you know kind of focusing on that i would love to play you know club of uh, volleyball yeah. and basketball so that would you know intramurals are always fun too so yes i'll probably do that would you believe that in fifth grade we had a volleyball tournament right and you know i was the best player that's a lie i was not the best <laughs> player uh, i was actually the reason we lost i wasn't that either but you know, uh, would you believe that, you know, I jumped up and I hit a ball over the net one time? That's honestly pretty impressive. It is very hard to actually, you know, get above the net and hit it into um, the certain spot. So it's, it's – volleyball is very challenging, but it's – that's pretty impressive. So how long have you been playing this fine sport? I've been playing – oh, boy, let's see. I've always gone to, like, camps. Like, throughout – I was, like, little. and USJ has always had, like, volleyball camps, and so – um, I started playing in sixth grade and then played all throughout middle school. And then um, my freshman year comes around and uh, me and my friend Susanna started or we played on the varsity. We were started to play JV the first half and then um, Coach Martha moved us up to varsity. So that was definitely a big jump. And so I've been on the varsity team since freshman year. So when you say Susanna, do you mean the Susanna Pickens? Susanna Pickens, yes. My opposite, my other Twin Tower. Yes, we call it, they call us the Twin Towers because of our height and stuff. So yeah, she's the other outside. She's also, she's gotten a lot better. So That's good. That's good. So I'm looking here on this little roster, this handy dandy roster I got here. Who are the leaders of this team? It's obviously you and Susanna. Yes, the captains. We are, um, you know, the captains and kind of keep everything in check and then we also have help from the other seniors like Addie and Olivia and Hannah and Gracie and so they all definitely help with that and then we also have our back rows who are also very um, helpful like Haynes kind of keeps everybody in check back row yeah. and then we unfortunately lost our setter Lexi she was a big aspect to yeah. our team yeah. and she kind of kept everybody in line and kept everything under control and st she still does that on the bench too so that was definitely a letdown. But then we had Sophie step up, and she's done really well as a freshman, too. So, uh, What is the diagnosis on uh, Lexi? She had a type 3 sprain. So she's actually – yesterday was her first day back at practice and started using her hands again. So luckily – surely she'll be back. She's hoping by next Tuesday, but we'll just see how that goes and how that happens. I got so. you. I got you. I got you. So – so where are you going to go college at if you're if you're not getting, you know? I'm really big on big SEC schools, oh, and I love okay. college game days on Saturdays and football. And so I'm kind of – I'm looking at um, UT Knoxville, Ole Miss, go and go Auburn. Balls. So, 
Yes. As long as you don't go to Alabama, I'm pretty oh, sure we're yeah. all right. Uh, so this game right here against TRA, they came off a win against Trinity Christian last night. Yes. So uh, do you think that they are necessarily better or match the same intensity as You know, TCA? I think um, they have definitely gotten better um, since we have played them, and they didn't have our, um, their setter when they first played us. And so I think she has come back, and I think they're definitely a strong team. And, you know, it, again, it comes down to a mental game, and I think they're a very strong mental team. And so I think, you know, when it comes down to tough games, they are, are good about coming back and keeping things under control. So I think they had that advantage last night. How has volleyball impacted you as a person? I've definitely learned many lessons through volleyball. It's also it's helped me, com like, be competitive and – um, it's always been like a fun sport and I always feel like I have a family with the volleyball team. It's just, it's just a fun, you know, thing to do. And I love volleyball so much. So how, how has your coach impacted you? How has she helped you grow as a person? Both coaches. Both yes. Coaches. Um, she's always just been there for us. Um, coach, like anytime, like we need her, like she has her office doors always open throughout the day. So if we need to go talk to her or anything, she's always been very positive to us and always been a big like aspect in our lives and she you know she's just always calm like very yeah like positive yeah. and very yes so she's you, been a good coach you play any other sports besides volleyball yes i play basketball and track so so you just run oh all the time no. never stopping not never me. stopping not for me not for me so looking at the district standings mm-hmm you have Trinity Christian, UHJ, and TRA. Yes. That's just y'all's district, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So where does Jackson Christian fall in that? They, um, you know, Jackson Christian, they're a new team this year. They've never had a volleyball team before, and really? this is their very first year. So, you know, they're, they're getting into the groove of, you know, actually finding a coach and, you know, yeah. getting how to play volleyball and stuff because they've never had a volleyball team. So... That is news to me. I yes. did not know that. I did yes. not know that. So yeah. have y'all had, like, any uh, state playoff appearances? My sophomore year, we actually made it to the final eight. And, unfortunately, went to, we went to Battleground Academy, and we lost. But um, we played really well that season. But without our um, – we had one of our main outside hitters go down with the ACL Ooh. yes and meniscus tear and no bueno yes it was not it was very devastating and I think we would have definitely made it all the way to state that year so well yes. you're ranked here according to Max Preps as the number 68 team in the entire state of Tennessee uh, ahead of you is Camden uh, so how did that game go um, again it, that was right after um, our setter got hurt and we were all kind of just like very confused and trying to learn new things and getting used to our new setter and so it was just kind of like a you know learning mental process. learning process and we were not we were not prepared for I don't think those two games against Camden and Madison because it was a try match and I, I don't think you. we came mentally prepared those games so when so after y'all played uh, TCA mm -hmm. y'all went on the road to a tournament, I yes. believe, against a team from South Carolina. Yes. Uh, and then y'all played somebody from Pennsylvania, apparently. Yes. I mean, they were teams <laughs> all over from that tournament. So all over. Did the talent vary from, like, state to state? Could you tell one state was better than the other? Um, to be honest, I didn't really know which states they were from. I mean, I just heard that they were all over, but I didn't know exactly what states they were from. But um, we used this – we used – we didn't – use it as like a winning I mean we wanted to win but like yeah. it was also another like learning process of like how to try things out and like good competition and played a lot of like different schools like 5A schools and so it was it was very difficult uh, tournament and we definitely learned a lot so looking ahead just a little bit yes well I ain't got too much to look forward no. to you know <laughs> Y'all got, I imagine you see your nights on the 27th against Fayette Academy. It's right? actually next Tuesday against really? Trinity, yes, Trinity Christian Academy. <laughs> so oh. that will be a very, very big game. And I hope everybody shows out and it's at home. 
senior night, and so we're very excited about that. Student section, question mark? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. So talking, uh, talking about this upcoming Tuesday's game tr against TCA, how, how do you all go about winning against TCA? What, do, what will you do differently? I think um, definitely come in with a mental mindset, being prepared and having the winning mindset and, like, almost not being – like, kind of being mad almost that we were ahead last time at their place and that we, you know, just lost, like completely broke down and lost. So I think um, definitely having a mental mindset of being prepared and being ready. And then also we've kind of um, – been preparing a lot during in practices and stuff and so definitely have gotten our defense and um serve receive and everything's gotten definitely better that's good that's good so the game tonight mm -hmm. how, how many spikes you gonna get as many as i can get <laughs> as many as i can get i hope so so you said you said that you know you're not really looking to go that route but have like any colleges just like hit you up at all on a low key not that I know of. Typically, when how colleges like ask and like recruit, like start to ask people for scholarships and stuff is if you play like club and like yeah. in the summers and stuff because they all go to those. Like I play AAU for oh, basketball, yeah, yeah, yeah. so definitely like many colleges are like there, and that's ba mainly where they see like you play and stuff. And so I have not been able to play with college. I mean, club volleyball, and so. You know, I haven't had any college hit, hit me up, but it's, I mean, I'm yeah. on, honestly, I'm fine with it. So, moving on to basketball, what does this basketball season have in yes, store for the I'm USA very, Lady Bruins? I'm very excited for this season. You know, um, we've lost a lot of people this year, and so we're very low on numbers, but I think it's very good because all the people that are playing are very competitive and very ready to play, and they um, actually like are ready to play basketball. and so I think it'll be really good. We also have a um, eighth grader that's going to start. And she, no way. Yes, <laughs> yes. She is uh, Halen Ayers. He's she's the uh, coach's daughter, and she is very good. Um, Spotted she, shooter. Oh yes, she actually has many D1 offers: uh, Tennessee, Go Vanderbilt. Balls. What about um, what about Memphis? Memphis Tigers. I'm not sure about that. I, maybe she is, but I'll offer her a scholarship right now. Alabama, <laughs> Florida. She's all. She's really good. So we're really excited to have her this year. All right. Well, I'll let you get back down there. Go ahead and support your team. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Carly Hayes. Everybody. With all that being said, we'll be right back in just a few minutes.